did, did the timing of you going to to the district attorney have anything to do with the timing of the audit of, audit of the aquatic center? I'm sorry, one more time. Sure. Did the timing of you going to the DA, which we all know we watched <laughs> on TV here, um, have anything to do with the fact that my client requested an audit of the of the audit uh, of the excuse me of the aquatic center? No, sir. Okay. Bit. Sure. Um, there was an audit of the uh, aquatic center in which she was a uh, uh, an employee of. That was back in 2000. That was just recently. This is very recently. Oh, yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. Which I had discussed with Mr. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, in that audit, um, it turns out that there are several thousand dollars missing from the uh, um, aquatic center. Correct. Is that? Public information or something? Well, it's still I, under investigation. Don't comment on that. All right. Um, how do you know it's still under investigation? Well, just. just no, I'm just asking how you know. I'm not asking. Is it your understanding that it's under investigation? It's my understanding that it's still under from, investigation. From, from, from being a board member or from being a, in the general public? From being a board member. Okay. Now, you were an employee within the aquatic center realm when this audit, excuse me, the audit, as I understand it, has taken place, correct? That is correct. Okay, and it covered the time, at least in part, that you were a member of the aquatic center? Yes. You were the administrative assistant? Yes. Okay. Um, as an administrative assistant, was there petty was there petty cash? There was cash that was handled by numerous people. Right, but was there petty cash? Never petty cash. Okay. Um, all right. As a, a member of the uh, excuse me, as an uh, administrative <coughs> assistant of the uh, aquatic center, you would take checks and cash, correct? Me personally. Yes, you personally. That was part of your responsibilities. Like about twenty percent of the time. Yeah, that was part of your responsibilities, yes. correct? Okay. And, and and you were taking cash for for what? What were people paying for? For the wellness swimmers, for the aqua aerobic swimmers, for learn to swim classes. For uh, um, for lifeguard classes. For what? For lifeguard classes. What what was the American? Red Cross or the or Red Cross doing uh, um, relating to the aquatic center? I, at the time when it was in, that they were giving the classes, it was being run by Mr. Fruya. Mm -hmm. And uh, the American Red Cross would um, certify or give the certifications of the um, lifeguards, but the BISD would collect the money. Okay. And, and the money was supposed to go to the Red Cross? If I'm not mistaken, that's how Mr. Freya handled it. How did you handle it? I never handled it. Okay. Did you ever take any payments for, uh, that were um, brought in to pay for those classes that was supposed to go to the Red Cross? Yeah. For, yeah. 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 This is deviating from what you identified in your petition having to do with the, the reason why uh, you were desiring to go ahead and obtain our testimony, which has to do with your client, Mr. Mr. Rodriguez. Right. Does the aquatic investigation have to do Yeah, with actually, that? actually, the, yes, it, okay. actually it does. Right. It's uh, the, uh, um, uh, the athletic department now is over the aquatics and actually it was at, at that time too, to some degree. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, did you ever take payments for those classes? I would say not often. Okay, but you did. Yes. Okay. Did, at at the time that you were working at the aquatic center for BISD, did you um, deposit BISD money into BISD accounts? BISD accounts, yes. Okay. 
did you ever deposit um, uh, any uh, money that belonged to the Red Cross into your account? There was uh, back in November of o November of '06, Mr. Priya had left, and the lifeguards, Miss Moran and Miss um, Alina Flores, did not know what to do with the cash, being that the American Red Cross was a nonprofit organization. We were not to be depositing those monies into a BISD account because that money belonged to the uh, American Red Cross. At that time, it was already 5 o'clock, and I had a commitment with one of my clients, and they did not want to stay with the money. I tried to get a hold of Mr. Fruya, and all I could do was take that money secured because in the past there had already been money lost at the aquatic center. So what I did was I put in my account, and then gave a check to Mr. Freya so he could make sure that he depot that he took care of the matter with the American Red Cross immediately. So the answer to your question is yes. yes. Okay. Um, so you made a check to the American Red Cross instead of giving them cash that was collected for the classes that were being given at the Aquatic Center. And it was yeah. Yes. Did yes. It was it wasn't for the it was for some students from Pace High School that had paid for CPR first aid classes. That's what it was. So there was there was cash money there. You you put that in into your purse and made a check. I had to deposit. I didn't want to have it with me in my purse. I didn't want to lose it. So I deposited it into my account and come Monday morning I gave it to Mr. Priya when he came back from his trip. So it, when did you deposit it deposit that money into your account? It was Saturday. It was Saturday. Okay. And so over the weekend um, you, you, you took the money from the BISD. It was uh, given to me. Okay. Okay. It was given, the money was given to you and, uh, you put it in your account and then made a check the, the very next Monday. Correct. Okay. Any policy violation there? No, sir. <clears throat> was it, was it cash money or was, was it checks? It was cash money. How much was it? it I believe it was $495. And you took it on, when did you take it, Friday or Saturday? It was on a Friday that the lifeguards that had done the, the class, the course at Pace came back and they said they didn't want to be responsible for it, they didn't want to leave it behind. I said, you know, I don't want to either, but let me go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and secure it, which I did over the weekend. Then Mr. Fria comes back and I gave him the money for the American Red Cross so the students would get their American Red Cross for a state CPR card. Right. So, so the so the check that you made, you put you put this this cash money into your bank account on Saturday, and then you wait till Monday to make a check to the American Red Cross. I gave it to Mr. Freya so he can go ahead and take it to the American Red Cross. L listen to the question though. The check says American Red Cross. Yes. Okay. So it it appears, or it can appear that you made. A donation to the American Red Cross. No. 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 Uh, it's a check from you. That says what? It's a check that's for the fees of the American Red Cross that were collected on Friday. Does it say that on the check? It's made out to American Red Cross. Right. And does it say for fees that for, for money that I took on Friday, um, deposited in my account, and then making this check here? That was told to Mr. Fria. Yeah, I, I didn't. That wasn't the question. I was just asking, is it, is that what it said on the check, or no, just it said American? It said Red American Red Cross. So somebody looking at it could say, or your accountant could say, hey, you made a donation to the American Red Cross. If it's made out like that, yes. Yeah, I, I, and that's how you said it was made out. No, it was made out to pay the fees of the students that had paid for the American Red Cross. The, is, is is fees for students anywhere on the check? Or does no. it just say American it Red just Cross? It said American Red Cross. Okay. So see if you can follow my question here. So if your accountant gets this uh, check, because now it's gone through and they've taken your $495, he could say, hey, Ms. Uh, Presas Garcia made a donation to the American Red, Red Cross. And he, 
You wouldn't know that it was for fees for money that you took, right? If you're asking if the accountant would say that, he wouldn't say that because I would tell him that wasn't for a donation. He could. Fair, fair enough. All right. Um, wh what was the paperwork to ensure that you just took $495 and gave a check for $495? Was there paperwork that showed there that? There was paperwork where $495 worth of students took the classes. Mm -hmm. uh, Lena and Yvonne Moran testified to that that was the collection of $495. Okay. And um, they signed off on the envelope and we all counted the money and that at the time that money would be given back to or it would be given to the American Red Cross so the students could get their American Red Cross certification. Actually the money wasn't going to be given to the American Red Cross. Your check was. The check. Your check. The check. Your check. Right. The check to replace the cash, so it was okay. being unheld. Un okay. It was it was being held. I didn't want to be responsible in losing the money. Okay. And and, and the check we're talking about is on your bank account. Is it that? was from my personal account. That's right. Okay. 